Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Squillium Tentacles. $215, two available, Acer Nitro, 4K, 60Hz, 28-inch monitor. Time to plan for? Hey, I don't need the gaming aspects of these monitors since I've stopped gaming. I only code now. So, a fair price, according to me, would be $200 for the two. I say this since my only requirement is for it to be 4K and 27 plus inches. For the price you've quoted, I can get new monitors. If I wanted a gaming setup, it would have made sense, but that is not the case. Let me know if $200 would work. I can come at 730. Okay, well, if your needs don't suit this product, then find another. These aren't particularly gaming oriented as it only refreshes at 60 hertz, meaning 60 frames per second is the highest consistent frame rate it can deliver. Gaming monitors would be 144 to 250 hertz. If you don't have a need for what I'm selling, then don't buy it. You can't buy a Rolls Royce for the price of a Honda because you only need a commuter. Feel free to find two monitors for $200 somewhere else. These cost $380. Beggars like this I don't understand. They're trying to get an item they necessarily don't need, but then trying to play the fact that they don't need it to try to get a lower price. At least this person called them out and told them to go buy what they need elsewhere. This next one is by Secret Turtle 9 I'm going to Burning Man this year, so appreciate that it magically all worked out this late in the game. Thank you, universe. Got into a camp yesterday and tickets officially transferred today. Walking into walking dreams soon. P.S. But hustle still on. If anyone in L.A. can help me with the following, please let me know. A single cruiser bike, 26 or 24 and or help me figure out how to make it recognizable on short timeline. Can help transport me and minimal items. Prop just bike and luggage. From DTLA to and from BRC. A fur coat. Knows where to find unique outfits, items, jewelry that feel like me on a short timeline. Help me brainstorm or make some gifts I can give. I feel like if you arrange to go to an event, you should have all of your ducks in order before you make that arrangement. You know, like travel plans, what you're gonna wear, things like that. It doesn't seem like you were too organized, so why should other people do the work you should have done? This next one is from Evan Rayash. <laughs> I hate doing this. I'm a single mom looking for a babysitter Monday to Friday, 8 to 4. I will provide breakfast and lunch. I can only afford a hundred a week. Looking for someone in the Hartsell Danville area or someone to come to my home. I am kind of desperate. Apparently it's way harder to find someone than I ever imagined. Please message me if you're interested. She is four years old and just needs someone to play with her and show her attention. She is very easygoing and loves all animals. $100 a week just isn't going to cut it for somebody working full-time hours. Think about it. Would you watch somebody else's kid 8 hours a day, 5 days a week for only $400 a month? That'll pay maybe 1-2 bills if you're lucky, but it damn sure won't pay rent. This next one is by Unlikely Direction 633 Looking for first grade level reading books in decent condition. A son's required to read two books every day, seven days a week for school, and the one, so... Amazon is a little pricey with bad reviews. If anyone has some to get rid of, please and thanks. Library has all kinds of books, and all it will cost you is a little gas to check books out and a little gas to return them. I don't want to go to the library. If you're able, you should get a library card. The public library is amazing in this town. I do have a card, but I want him to have them at home and can reread them anytime he wants. You can check them out to take home. And if they get lost or something, then I have to pay, so I'm not wanting to use the library. You are passing up the best option. Students got library cards at school that they can use at the public library, and they don't have to pay overdue fines. You can't beat free. 
you really can't, but some beggars think they can. Like in this case, if they had somebody willing to offer them books, I guarantee you they would want those books delivered to them as well. Gotta love choosing beggars. This next one is from Cree340. I'm looking for a one week complimentary stay in a five star hotel in Mexico for me to show them to host three evenings begging events. I'm not really sure I quite understand what they want outside of they want free shit to do what, potential influencer things? This next one is by Naruto Nami. Sun's pick. Hey, I actually have pet cats, and since you're donating money to animals, I wanted to ask if you can donate some cat food to my cats, because I am actually struggling a lot this month. Oh my, yes, of course, I will help you. Where do you stay? And what kibble do your cats eat? Thanks for the quick reply. I stay at Pensacola. My cats like to eat Stella and Chewy raw-coated kibble. I have two adult cats, so we easily go through two packets of 10 pound cat kibble in a month, plus 60 cans for wet cat food. I just checked the cost and I don't know if I'll be able to help with all of that. I'm currently studying. <laughs> I only donate what I earn from selling my prints every month. I can try my best to donate $30 to $35 a month in perhaps some sort of a cat store gift card? Okay, I just want to ask another favor. If you could deliver any cat food for that amount to my place every month too? I don't exactly have money for much gas either, and I don't know where you live, so it'll be hard to pick it up. Hmm, <laughs> I live in Singapore, so I can't drive to your place. <laughs> I think the gift card thing should work though. That's not enough. Seriously fam, $35 hardly lasts two weeks. Oh, so you're one of those. Got it. Not sure if this is a troll or one for real, but fuck you. Not sure why I thought you're a good person. I like how the beggar tries to say they thought they were a good person. Yeah, most people who try to assist others and try to help without asking for anything usually are good people. It's the overzealous demanding people that are getting help and demanding more and more and more that aren't the good people. This next one is by Chris Satchel. Re RK202 Gaming Keyboard, 7 pounds, 99 pence. Hi there, that's an influencer of tech products, gadgets, reviewing all types of technology for my YouTube channel, covering over 100,000 views on each video. Is there any chance I could test this product as requested by my viewers? Hi, just buy it then? It's 8 pounds. Regards, Chris. However, in return, you'll more likely see a big increase in sales as I'll link this product to the description of my YouTube channel and see a massive turnover in revenue. If purchasing, I'm basically giving you free customers. It's nice to do a favor for each other. I'll profit off the video and so will you. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, you'll most likely make more profit off of your ad revenue in your video advertising your free product when you're getting 100,000 views you can afford 8 fucking dollars. That's coming from someone who can't even seem to break 10,000 views anymore. God, these fucking influencers make me so angry. I don't understand how they can fucking function being beggars. This next one is from V Dollars. Does anyone have a small dog for free that has all its shots for emotional support animal, like in Yorkie for example? I have anxiety and this would be very helpful. I live in a group home so I don't have a lot of money, so can anyone help me out please? If you're asking for the dog for free, are you going to be able to house the dog? Are you going to be able to feed the dog? Are you going to be able to care for the dog? My guess is the answer to most of those is no, because if you're not willing to pay for the dog, you most likely can't pay to take care of it. This next one is by Napkin Boy. I'm still looking for an editor that will be able to do it for free for me, and I can trust with my video because I'm doing 17 videos right now, and I also need help with my merch as well. So if big streamers like at Big Puffer, at So Grizzy, or at Elastic Droid, or at Pezzy, I need the help. It seems like what you're gonna need to do is just keep working and keep growing and then once you reach a point where you can actually pay somebody to provide that service for you, then you'll be able to have an editor. People don't want to edit shit for free. I know firsthand because I do all my own stuff and it's very time consuming. 
And our final one is from AZ Sunny. The lowest I could do for a PC with a 3070 is around 1500 to 1700. 1300. I'd be losing money. I mean, you lose some and you win some. You want me to pull $400 out of my own pocket so you can play Fall Guys with a cool looking PC? I mean, do it for your customers. A customer is somebody who's actually making a purchase, not trying to lowball said purchase. I don't think you're really a customer until you actually complete said purchase. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.